All right, guys, we're going to talk about something this morning. Sensitive subject. You know, when you talk about somebody's favorite fighters, you know, they can get a little upset, agitated, get personal with you, call you a liar. You're a liar. Not true. Justify. I try to call it straight down the middle. And top and Terrence Crawford is one of my top guys, but I gotta call it out. I gotta say it. So, Sean did an interview with Crawford, but after Canelo he made those statements about Terrence being so easy, Terrence a little agitated. He didn't like hearing those words coming from Canelo since he's so much of a bigger man, which makes sense. You that big and you you talking you talking that talk. Let's let's listen. Um is becoming undisputed it first of all, what do you think of that? That you know, Canelo's going back and forth with Turkey, and if that fight is off the table, are you really motivated still by becoming undisputed at fifty four? And yeah, like what, what, what's the most, what's the biggest motivating goal or fight out there if, if the Canelo fight just can't happen? Now, I don't want to say this before Terrence answers that. Terrence has always had self-motivation. He has. Because of the naysayers. So because of the naysayers, Sandy on the other side of the street, they kind of kept him motivated. So let's hear, let's hear what he got to say. To be honest, that was my motivation fight. You know, uh, it, it, it's crazy and it makes me laugh uh, with all the antics that Canelo is doing and saying in the media and, and whatnot um, about the size and he won't get no credit and, and all this uh, type of things. But Hold on. Let's pause it right there. Now, Crawford said the same thing about when they were trying to entertain Javante Tate Davis. He said he was too small and he won't get no credit. Did he or did he not? Did he or did he not? He said the same thing. So why is it bothering you at this point? You get it. You understand. I understand. You didn't too much entertain that fight. Not to say Javante was going, they was, I don't know if they was testing the waters, but you responded to that notion, just like Canelo. I think at first they kind of just threw it out in the air. And at some point in time, you was like, you know what? I think I want to go up to 168 fight Canelo because they kept talking about it. So let's keep going. Canelo been fighting smaller guys his whole career. Canelo been um, True. making his own catch weight for years. Mm -hmm. You know, Canelo fought a smaller Mayweather. Canelo fought a smaller um, Amir, uh, um, not Miller Khan, but uh, uh, yeah, Amir Khan. Yeah, he did. He did yeah. at 155. Yeah, yeah, he, he did. did. Amir Khan, you know, uh, he fought so Jam Jamel Charlo. And I'm pretty sure he didn't make as much money with all those guys, except Mayweather, even even Berlanga right now. That now, I want to stop it there. Because at first, the fans, you know how they, they just follow whatever somebody's saying. Now, Terrence brought up the money. It's all about money. When you hear fans talk about, oh, that's for his legacy. No, no, no. No, no, no. Money first. It's all about that money at the end of the day. It's always all about money. It ain't just boxing. It don't even have to be a professional sport. Whatever you do in real life, it's always about that money. Money keeps you motivated because you can taste it. You already spent it in your head, in your head. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out. That I don't want to hear legacy this. He already made, he's already a Hall of Famer. He's already etched in stone. Four division champion. He it's time to get money uh, now. 
He had to fight Madrimov, stay active. I get all that. He was wanting to fight Fedora. Didn't happen, so he had to do what he had to do. I get it. But he won a big bag. But I think Crawford in his mind moved on. This is just me personally saying this. After he fought uh, Madrimov, and he's just kind of irritated of Canelo's excuses. Because Canelo always got the excuses. That he will with me, but yet and still. He's grinning. He's hurt. Know, he he have all these excuses why he don't want to take a fight with me. If it's if it's all about business, then you doing good business. If I'm if I'm easy work, I heard him say I'm easy work. If I was easy work, would well, you know, you would take all that money that 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 he's offering you. But yet and still, he won't two hundred million for for Benavidez and he want 150 million to fight me so that just lets me know right there that I'm a threat to him okay you already know that you are you surprised Canelo talking like that he want to cash out on you just like you want to do with him it shouldn't surprise you I wouldn't want to fight a coward he's a coward at this point, he didn't used to be like this. That Bivol loss did something to him. He'll fight Charlo, but won't fight you? You think he asked for $150 million to fight Charlo? They try to use Undisputed versus Undisputed to try to make that make sense. And they try to do it with you. I'm talking about Undisputed versus Undisputed. They stripped you and him. And uh, Canelo. Or so I heard Canelo got stripped. He ain't no undisputed. They stripped the belt or whatever. So it's a money fight. All I'm saying is, what's the difference at this point of you chasing or, or wanting the Canelo fight than Boots Ennis wanting to fight you? Big fight. Passing of the torch. They say you got more, he got more to lose. I'm not, I'm I'm a boxing fan. I'm not in your uh on your team trying to give you advice and stuff like that. I think you'll beat Boots. I think it'll be a good fight. The longer that fight lingers on or, or, or it, it goes down the line and it's not happening, my thoughts about the fight can shift on who's gonna win. But at this particular point, If Turkey drops an offer, I think, I'm not telling you what to do, but I think it'll be wise to take that fight. Somebody, Some people say, Charlie boy, Charlo hasn't been active, but you know, just like I know, once he hit the scene and start talking in interviews and stuff, it's gonna, that fight's going to bring some heat too. I just think those two fights is the most lucrative fights, and it'll keep the boxing sport healthy because you the man. Don't worry about no Canelo fight. I, like I say, I don't think he. I think he kind of moved on himself, Terrence Crawford, until he heard what the dude had to say, and you kind of lose respect for a fighter like that. That's 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 uh, do, talking like a coward. Because if somebody's man, let's keep going. I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to his legacy because it would be crazy for a guy that started at 135 to come all the way up to 168, your weight, no catch yeah. weight, no none of that, and dethrone you. So, you know, he got that in the back of his head. You know, this 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 guy. He probably does. It probably does, but let's not get it twisted. You got some stuff in the back of your head. If you go all the way up after you accomplish all that you accomplished, and because you got the heart of a lion, you, I don't think you're going to run like Charlo. You're going to stand like you did uh, 10 toes down when you fought Madrimov. And Canelo's such a big guy. There's a good high probability that you could get stopped. So you don't act like that thought ain't going through your mind as well. I'm rooting for you, bud. I am. For one, he's tough. For two, 
he's a boxer. He moves. He can punch. He can do. He can do it all. I can't slip up and lose to this little guy. Then what? What will my fans think of me? What will my my uh my Mexican uh people think of me? So you know, it's a big risk for him. Like he said, he don't get nothing out of it, but he does get a lot of it out of it. You know, none of those guys was pound for pound best fighter in the world that he fought when when it was coming up in weight. None of those guys. You know, he wasn't getting the amount of money uh, through at him guaranteed for those guys. That money, 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 money talk. That money come in. That money come in. I remember Terrence Crawford, they said, even, let's go back to the Gervonta fight. He said that if they show him the right money, fight can happen. Kind of like how Canelo talking about him. It's the same thing. We can't pick and choose because somebody don't do it for you. You talking the same talk to the other people that Canelo's talking to you. Hundred fifty four. Uh, weight class is real healthy right now. We got some hitters. And you can make good money since you want to talk money. But you guys got to fight who the fans want you to fight. Yeah, the fans want to see. There's a lot of fans want to see Canelo Terrence Crawford. But that ain't going to happen. So what other fights do they want to see? The only fight I'm really hearing them say is the Boots in his fight. Boots come up, that's a fight people want to see. And I guarantee, guarantee, when Chalet Boy, when he comes up or whenever he starts making a scene and making videos of him training and talking his trash, that's going to be a fight as well. I can't see no other fight after that. And if you don't have no motivation to fight, then you need to just go on and hang it up. But I don't think you want to hang it up right now because there's more money on the table. And Turkey Ally Seek is just, is just getting started with you. So you're going to go ahead. You put in the work. It's time to cash out. You got the belts you want. Now get the money. This is just, I'm not telling you to do it, but I would like to see you do it, brother. Stay active. Let Saul fight Berblinga. That's all he wants to do, man. Let him do that. He don't want to take a challenge. You do. Or so I thought. You want the challenge? Boots Ennis is waiting for you, brother. Give him a chance. Get a young pup a chance. Show these other fighters in the new generation this is how you do it. Come on, man. I love you, bud. Comment, rate, subscribe. It's your boy. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to be back.